happen to be new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I do try and drop new content on this channel every single day. So with that being said, let's just get right into the video. Happy Monday, everyone. Kind of seeing a nice greener day in the market. So let's, I hope everyone does have a great green week in the stock market and in both the cryptocurrency market as well. It's Monday, July 26th, and I want to give you guys a huge update here on Healthier Choices Management, ticker symbol HCMC, OTC stock, currently sitting at 0 0.0006, down about 28% at the time of this video. Now, if you're watching this video or if you are somewhat any, any what familiar with HCMC, you are well aware of the patent infringement lawsuit that HCMC had filed against Philip Morris maybe about three, four months ago. And it's kind of been an up and down roller coaster about some news and just everything that's been going on with the patent infringement lawsuit. And the patent infringement lawsuit, number one, is a, the main reason a lot of people, you know, initially wanted to invest in HCMC because of Philip Morris being the one of the biggest tobacco companies in the world. A lot of people thought HCMC was going to get a massive, massive settlement. And I still believe that to be true in my opinion. Again, I'm not a financial advice. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But HCMC and the patent infringement lawsuit with Philip Morris has hit a roadblock. But at the end of the day, I do not think this is the end of the world for HCMC's lawsuit against patent uh, against Philip Morris. Just a roadblock. And again, it's always been a long-term play here. And a lawsuit and anything patent infringement related does take time could take multiple years we've seen it in previous cases these things take a lot of time so i just wanted to come on here make this video and share the update that we got via the docket we got this actually on friday um got this actually late friday so i wanted to make this video today monday as soon as i possibly could you could see here the order granting motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim, HCM, HCM will have 14 days to file a motion to leave a further amended complaint signed by Judge Timothy Batten on 7-23. So you can see the time difference in which we you know, were waiting for an update, June 15th to June 23rd, Monday, April 19th. Look at these dates, it's pretty far in between the updates that we were getting from this patent infringement lawsuit case. <coughs> I went ahead and I paid for the document to look at. So you guys, you can see it here, we have it the actual court documents for this new update. So we're just gonna go through this. I'm gonna talk about it for a bit. Please, you guys, I'm gonna slow down on each page so you guys can read it. If you do appreciate it, please hit the subscribe button, hit drop a like on this video, and leave me in a comment down below how you guys, how this makes you guys feel uh, as a HCMC stockholder and you know what you're gonna do moving forward. Again, just wanna reiterate, I'm still holding HCMC, full transparency. Yeah, this not really scaring me too much. Definitely, I think something that could have definitely happened, it was a possibility that this could have happened, but definitely not the end of the world and definitely not something that's going to completely make me make me sell my shares. And obviously it depends on where you invested your age, at what price point you got into HCMC and your average price. But you can see here at the first page, this case becomes before the court and on the motion to dismiss filed by defendants Philip Morris USA and Philip Morris Products SA. So basically what Philip Morris did was basically they filed a motion to dismiss the entire lawsuit, um, you know, based on various reasons. And you can see here, just a quick background, this is a patent infringement case about electronic cigarettes and the way they deliver nicotine. Traditional cigarettes deliver nicotine by burning, but with an eye toward protecting the public and particularly young people from tobacco-related diseases and death, the US FDA in 2019 authorized for sale certain electronic cigarettes that do not require nicotine burning. So basically everyone knows the backstory about the IQOS tobacco heating system. That is the product that HCMC is, you know, essentially suing or filing a lawsuit against Philip Morris because of the IQOS tobacco device. So you can see here, plaintiff HCMC also manufactures an nic electronic nicotine delivery device called an electronic pipe. HCM owns, well, they're calling themselves HCM in this document, owns US patent. 10,561,170 or the 170 patent, which sets out specific specifications for an electronic pipe with a battery heating wire and combustible material. The 170 patent delivers nicotine by initiating a combustion reaction. Now, you can see your HCM, HCM Healthier Choices Management contends that the defendants are con infringing on its 170 patent through the manufacture and sale of their IQOS device 
It argues that even though tobacco may not burn in the IQOS device, some combustion occurs and the device meets the remaining limitations for the 170 patent. Right, so on February 25th, 2021, you can go back to this date, you can see here all the way back to February 25th, you can see here the motion to dismiss failure to state a claim with brief support by Philip Morris. That's when they initially um, filed a motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim. And defendants moved to dismiss ACMC, ACM's complaint. They argue that ACM's allegations of infringement are due to be dismissed because an exhibit that ACM attaches to its pleading conclusively demonstrates that combustion cannot occur within the IQOS device. Now, this is crucial here. So this is basically the, you know, the judge stating this case boils down to one question, whether ACM has adequately alleged that defendant's electronic cigarette requires combustion. Now, that's really what the case has always come down to, is that the if Philip Morris electronic cigarette requires combustion, that's essentially what it's come down to. And if HCM has plausibly alleged that some even partial combustion is required, then the court will deny the motion to dismiss. If, on the other hand, HCM's averments that the IQS device requires a combustion reaction are implausible, then defendant's motion to dismiss will be granted. So we come down here. I'll slowly go down this so you guys can, you know, pause and read this if you like. Please drop a like on this video if, you know, you appreciate me getting this document for everyone. You can see here, continue to scroll down. Direct infringement, basically, you know, disputing what direct infringement and literal infringement is. Continue to scroll down as well. Go ahead and pause the video at any time. We're looking for page 11. Okay, so you can see here, but to ensure the pleading nevertheless meets the plausibility standard, these courts have required plaintiff, which is ACMC, to do more than assert the product infringes the claim. It must show, you can see here, it must show how the defendant plausibly infringes by alleging some facts connecting the allegedly infringing product to the claim elements. So basically what is happening here is the court is telling HCMC that they're going to file this, they're going to you know, grant this motion to dismiss, and that HCMC needs to come back and essentially do more than just assert that the product infringes the claim. It actually has to show the defendant plausibly infringed by alleging some facts connecting the allegedly infringing project to the claim elements. So basically, what HCMC kind of messed up on is they didn't fully divulge or fully weren't fully transparent i guess with the facts in the actual like scientific claims that they do have which people have proven you know a lot of youtubers have proven this as well that the defendant possibly infringes on the lawsuit so you can see here that's what the judge is basically saying they need to come back with some alleging alleging some facts and they need to show this you know not just allegedly, they need to show that the actual is actually happening. Now we can they can show this by exhibits and a lot of different other a lot of other ways, and it kind of sucks for HCMC because in my opinion they were kind of waiting for discovery to fully you know show their hand. Um, but again, people were expecting this to happen. If you guys again check out Jossum Sauce on YouTube, he has great great resources and great great um, I guess analysis on this entire lawsuit so shout out Jawsome sauce on youtube go check him out but you can see here that with that framework in mind the court considers whether hcm has pled sufficient factual support to render its infringement claim plausible defendants argue that hcm has not plausibly alleged that the iqs device practices the combustion reaction limitation in fact they contend that hcm does not does the opposite by attaching to its pleading All right so you can see this it's obvious what HCM, HCM or HCMC has to do. Basically, they need to show the court in a new thing, the actual data, the exhibits, and factual evidence that Philip Morris is, you know, intruding on their lawsuit. Now, if we come down here, again, I'll slowly go down this for you guys to pause if you need, want to read this entire document. I don't want to spend too much time scrolling down, so I'll go through this quickly. 
you guys can go ahead and pause at any time. Don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so you can see here, <coughs> the court is mindful that leave to amend should be given freely. That said, the court sum surmises based on the clear and unambiguous language of HCM's exhibits that any attempt to overcome any pleading deficiencies would be futile. Therefore, the court finds it inappropriate to permit HCM to file an amended complaint as of right. Instead, this is so this is basically what HCM has to do. Instead, it will first be required to file a motion for leave to file a further amended complaint, and the motion must attach the proposed amended hearing. So you can see here, for the foregoing reasons, defendant's motion to dismiss is granted. HCM will have 14 days in which to file a motion for leave to file a further amended complaint. Signed by the judge, Timothy Batten. So this is official. So basically... ACM now has 14 days, that is the next date on the timeline, 14 days to file a motion, it's kind of long, a motion for leave to file a further amended complaint, and that is the next step in the process. Again, as a stockholder of HCMC, I don't think this is completely the end of the world. I've always said that this lawsuit and this entire trial or case, whatever you want to call it, was going to take time could take multiple years and it hasn't even it's really only been six months um, maybe even less than that honestly it's been less than six months so kind of just the beginning here we wanted to update you guys on this news we will get some sort of update in the next 14 days because or actually less than 14 days because that is the timeline the next uh, 14 days is what HCMC has to file a motion for leave to file a further amended complaint so we should be getting an update within the next 14 days so I will update you guys when that does happen but again let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this news. Very interesting, very, I guess, big news. Um, if you've been following this trial, this lawsuit for the entire time, please, you guys, drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And as always, you guys have a great day.